right here. Interesting, huh? That's nice. The wagon too. It's crazy like that. Nice. Look at this wagon. I really like the color. The color is really cool. Nice. Nice interior. I think it's got blue interior too. Interior is so rare. Hell yeah, that uh, Mercedes smell. I gotta love it. <laughs> nice, man. What'd you say? What happened to it? The intake manifold was broken in the exhaust, so it was leaking. The gasket was leaking? Or? Yeah, everywhere. I just finished that, so that's mm -hmm. good. And then the transmission started leaking, so... Where's I'm the leak the... coming from? I'm Pro... not sure yet. I just found Is it. Is it a bad leak? Though. Bad leak? Pretty decent. When yeah. it's parked, it drips pretty good, so... Yeah. It's probably... It could be in many things. Could be this like was from like it gasket. before, just from sitting all of that leaked out there. All the trans? Yeah. Really? Some of it was engine oil but most of it was transmission. They tell you to like adjust it while you're driving at like 55 miles an hour. You're supposed to have a specific pressure on that gauge okay. when you drive. Uh, but I learned that you can do it actually like just uh, when it's idling hot, you know? Mm. You don't have to have it like, you know, in drive 55 miles an hour, you know? Things like that. But man, this thing is cool. Shit. Hopefully I'll get a wagon sometime yeah, uh, in the future. The guy told me 1700 bucks. I was like, done. <laughs> That's pretty good. Now. That's a really good deal for a wagon. Shoot. 300,000 miles, but it still runs really good, so. That's nothing, 300,000 miles. So. It's the same one. Yeah. On, test it, just so I can offer mm -hmm. it to people for sale, mm -hmm. and then I'll maybe take it off, because I've heard good and bad things about putting a turbo on the four cylinder. Some people yeah, I've get never lucky. done it, yeah. Some mm -hmm. people don't, so. Well, it's awesome. At least you're going to bring it back to life, you know? Yeah, it's good. It is, though. Sweet. Very nice. It's pretty quick with no here. <laughs> Weight reduction. <laughs> nice, man. That's what's up. Well, that's good, you know? It's great uh, meeting, you know, enthusiasts. Yeah. You know? I've met a lot of enthusiasts in my life, but, you know, it's never too many <laughs> out there, you know? Yeah, I like this color, you know. Actually, I don't mind. A lot of people don't like this color, but I do like this color. There's nothing wrong with this color. You're gonna use the door from that car on this yeah, car? Yeah, the door, the fender. I'm gonna swap mm -hmm. over because that one's so good. Nice. I didn't know that stuff That's was that up. heavy. You, like it weighed it down that much. I'm, I'm guessing it's probably 500 pounds on this one. Just the lining or what? No, the, the lining's probably... Uh, Nice. This one I've done a little work too. I'm currently putting it all back together. But oh, nice. For what are you doing part, to it? Just it uh, is a everything? New turbo. Mm -hmm. This turbo was blown up, but for the mm -hmm. most part, I just use it to test fit parts. Nice. And then eventually, I'm going to put it in this Land Cruiser behind you. Nice, nice. Well, that's what's up, bro. Always building something, huh? <laughs> yeah, I got a couple too many projects, that's for sure. That's good, but that's good. Keeps me busy. That's awesome. As long as one of them runs at all times, I'm happy. Yeah, these engines are like the best thing in the world, man. Yeah. Now this one had 202,000 miles on it mm -hmm. and was running good, so. Yeah. 
Now they're like really, I, I love these engines. You know? That's my plan, you know. I'm gonna drive these cars for the rest of my life. You know? Yep, yep. Thank you. Yeah, that's true. This one I'm still, I may end I up love the, it up, yeah. I'm only gonna cut it up to sell the pieces to people that need to fix theirs. I've you definitely, that. definitely should, uh, you know, cut the quarter panels, you know, like yeah. right here, you know, and save those parts. Exactly, yeah. That would be a good idea to do. I'm trying to avoid that. I'd rather see someone just pick up the whole shell. Oh, the whole shell. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, because yeah. If I cut it up, then I'm going to have to store all the parts for quite some time. And mm -hmm. I'm willing to do it, but yeah. realistically, it'd just be easier to get rid of the whole shell. Yeah. Still, it's being... <laughs> oh, no. That's part of a fuel filter. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't think it was. Yeah. I gotta fix the rear hood or the rear latches Hatch. on it. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty common. I've already Not got bad. the parts there. Will See, you... this this is why I love wagons. They're like it's like a road trip car. You can go and sleep yeah. in there, you know, whatever you want. There's it's... a guy in Turkey. He builds blinds, Venetian oh, blinds. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And Those. I just I sent him the dimensions and everything, mm -hmm. so he's gonna start making them for the wagon. Really worth it, you know. Turbo diesel. That's pretty cool. The engine still needs to be cleaned up a little more, but it's so nice. Looks like you were working on it. I see some oil stains. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how the engine bay looked on that 300D when I got it. It was a little better, yeah. but uh, it still it was uh, it was super nasty. On the battery right here. Yeah. It has all that show. Yeah. Got all that. Yeah. It was residue. super bad. Yeah. Does it say used? Did you just buy it used? I don't know what that on? is. It mean? came with the car. I just went to a local place and picked it up. Yeah. See, this one has the SLS pump. Yeah. And everything. I would definitely fix up the SLS if anything, you know. I'm gonna do a valve adjustment, new yeah. glow plugs, and probably call it a day from there. It already runs yeah. good. I put yeah. the new manifold gasket in there. Oh, recently. nice. You did that. That was leaking. I was cleaning the intake manifold. How was that? <laughs> I sent it in. You just, yeah. oh, okay, gotcha. I cleaned mine myself, but it took me a while. <laughs> uh, it was easier for me, 50 you bucks, just, get yeah. it done. Man, you know, after you clean this yeah. engine bay, look how nice it's gonna look. Look at this color. <laughs> yeah people were saying this color was pretty rare for the wagons yeah it's pretty rare honestly super rare and the black interior that's another thing i'll have to figure out about that driver's seat that's destroyed people yeah the previous owner put that blanket there. Mm -hmm. just just keep it like at least not too much destroyed huh that seat isn't too I was horrible. I also, I have those Palomino seats. And there's one of them underneath. Underneath that part. You just had to slowly yeah, lift, you lift it, it up. Oh, yeah. There was one of those sure. springs that caught my pants. And oh, shoot. Yeah. I'm like, no wonder he's got that blanket there. I'm yeah, that's to, why, I yeah. guess. He didn't even warn you. <laughs> wow, it's got a manual sunroof, too. Yeah, that's know, neat. Happy about that. That's really neat. Super neat. You have the key for it? Yeah. Let me go grab it. Yeah, the buzzer. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Yay, I love hearing that sound. Woohoo! <laughs> it's a little shaky right That's now. That's okay. Place, Doesn't matter. It's an old tractor right? engine, you know what I mean? Just to like use for the farm. Makes sense. Thanks, man. Thanks for showing everything. <laughs>